Hi, my name is Steve Fuse, and welcome to my channel. On this channel, we talk about, and I'm talking about all things financial services related. We talk about the IMOs, we talk about those recruiters, we talk about those network marketers, ones that all about recruit, recruit, recruit. Don't get those three words out of order, right? Some will, some won't, so what? They don't have a clue how to sell insurance, but they want to recruit you so you can go make them some money. That's the that's the American dream, right? Getting rich off of somebody else. We talk about those kinds so you can flush them out. As a matter of fact, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a document that will allow you to flush those people out with 10 very simple but very factual based questions to ask. Just check the box and you'll know who you're dealing with by the end of the video. But let's get back to what this channel is all about. This year has been epic in terms of just, you know, what we're doing on our end as far as financial services, being able to supply and uh, our clients with multiple different products. We're no longer a one-stop shop. So, uh, you know, even with the COVID, the shutdown, even being an essential business, our income has gone way up. Our lead flow has gone away. Hey, listen, you know I talk about life insurance being an event-based business. Well, there's no greater event in the world to drive life insurance sales than in a pandemic, right? So that really, you know, caused a lot of concern. A lot, many of you sat on the sidelines. Some of you had to sit on the sidelines, which I totally understand. Some people have health conditions where they couldn't put themselves in that kind of a situation and in that danger. But we're much past that right now, at least on the way out of it. Things are starting to return to normal. You can make your great year in the next six months. So listen, this week we're talking about the uh, number two on my series of how do we make money in this business? How do we make money as life insurance agents? And we're talking about residual income. Here are the facts. You should make residual income, but not all do. It's another one of those questions that's on my form. It greatly depends on who you have signed up with. In other words, the IMO. Listen, the most recent moves by some IMOs is to remove the agent from that residual income stream and give it all to the IMO. Well, that's why I got in this business. I mean, I love life insurance. I love what we do for people. I love that we make a great living doing a great thing for people. But at the end of the day, listen, at 19, 20 years old, man, I... I I, I saw the, the, the pathway to own my life. I'll talk about more about that later on the video. But it was about creating that residual income, not just going to work and punching a time clock. And at the end of the week, I got paid for the hours, and there was no, I wasn't building anything. So when they got done with me and spit me on the curb, I had nothing. I had to start all over again. I wanted to build something. And I could see that being able to be accomplished through residual income. I don't want to give that residual income away. That's why I do this business, right? It's the very reason why I got in the business. And, you know, many of you, look, I tell my agents the same thing. You know, when this business gets tough, and it will get tough, you got to remember what you came in this business for. Many of you, it's about helping people keep their promise to the next generation. It's about the high commissions. Nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, it's also about owning your life, building something where not 100% of your income is coming from your own efforts to be able to get out of bed every day because someday you can't. Sometimes you might have to take care of a family member. You might have to take care of some kids, right? And you don't want to go walk into that office and ask that boss if I can have some time off of work to go and take care of my sick kids. Remember, why you got in this business, or at least why you are looking to get in this business. And for me, I really saw that being able to build something. Every day I woke up, like residual income was being able to walk away at any time, right? And own my income. <laughs> like I said, this is the very reason why I got in this business. It's why I get so rammed up and so excited, because... The, to me, this and the passive income stream is what it's all about. As I always say, remember why you got into this business. And for me, I really saw that being able to build something every day I woke up, right? Gave me purpose, gave me meaning. I knew it wasn't just about today. I wasn't always living in the moment. I knew if I stuck it out, right? I was strong enough, long enough, I could build an income so that someday, I knew that someday would come. I knew eventually I'd get too old, you know, start getting ill, not be able to feel like going out there and selling insurance 24-7, five, six, seven days a week. I knew my mom, my kids needed me. There was other things that I had a responsibility for, and I wanted to be there 
for them, which means my, my life couldn't revolve around my ability to go out and sell insurance every single day. I had to build an income that, you know, even if I had to walk away for a day, a week, or even permanently, my income was taken care of. And for me, that was residual income, right? It was being able to walk away anytime and own my income. I got sick and tired of jobs where I was afraid that someday, if I pissed off the manager, he'd fire me, and I was back on the street again begging for another job. I didn't want to do that. And I fortunately, my father was self-employed. He was a pastor. He was always around the house. And it spoiled me very early that I wanted the same thing for my family and for my life, right? Folks, listen, if you're asking someone if you can take time off to go be with your kids, and that rubs you the wrong way like it did me, well, partner, you have come to the right channel <laughs> and to the right coach that can teach you a very different way to never be in that place again. Look, I said I never liked the idea that I had to go call somebody my boss. Hey, boss, do you mind if I go home early? Hey, boss, my kids are sick. Hey, boss, my wife has to go to the doctor and she needs me to take... I couldn't. I didn't even want to know how to spell the word, right? I don't know about you, but I never wanted to be a boss and I never wanted to have a boss. Once I was 18 and free to live my life, I didn't want to willingly give my life over to someone else, again, that dictated every single day how I spent my day, right? Week in, week out. You know, they, talk, they jokingly talk about, you know, well, it's 40 years, you know, nine to five or for 40 years, you know, 40 hours a week for 40 years. 40 years is your entire life. Okay? I don't want to do it for 40 days. I don't want to do it for 40 minutes. I did it for 40 days. I did it for a few years when I was very young. And even then, I was looking for a way to, to start my own business. I wanted to control my life. There's an old saying, some people's some days are some people's every days. And I, look, I wanted my days to be mine every day. And I'd rather quit than to have to beg someone for time off to be with my kids or my family. It ain't happening with me. In fact, thank God someone showed me this business when I was 21 years old. And I've never looked back. I spent my entire life building a residual-based income. And now I get paid from 20 to 30 different companies each month. Some every single day. Think about that, folks. Look, some of you are afraid to go to the mailbox. Some of you are afraid to check your bank account every single day. I, the first thing I do in the morning is I log into my bank account and see how much was deposited in my bank every day. And I know the days that the banks don't make deposits, and I don't log in on those days. You, look, you have bills coming every single day. You might as well have money coming in every day. Okay, now I know I've said a lot, and I've said it very fast. I, I get ramped up about this business when it comes down to what you're building as an insurance agent every single day, right? So listen, I just talked about getting paid from 20 or 30 different companies each month and some every single day. So for those of you who want to digest for that second, let's just stop right here and think about this for a second if that's something that you might want to consider. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I mean, I think most people understand that, you know, owning your life is about owning your income and something that, you've, that you're getting paid on that you did years ago, right? So what would it be like to wake up every single day and log into your bank account and see deposits from 5, 10, 15, 20 different companies? Well, that, again, is how my life has been for many, many years, and it can be yours as well if you're willing to work for it. My old mentor said to me, wealthy people build networks, everyone else looks for work. Think about that for a second. That's very true. This is how rich people get rich. You don't have to be a YouTube star, make a hit record, be a Hollywood superstar, write a bestseller, which is how many of them tap into a lifetime of residual income and create passive income through that process. And that's why they're flying around their own private planes, driving all the fancy cars, living in multi-million dollar mansions, is they've been able to build residual and passive income. You can do the same thing here. That's the good news about this video today. Do the work once and get paid for a lifetime. Where else can you go for the cost of an insurance license, build a lifetime of residual income and passive income where you can work hard for a few years and retire on 250, 500, even a million dollars or more in income coming to your bank account every single day? Did I say every single day enough yet? <laughs> Why would you not want to have this? You've got bills coming in every day. You and I also need money coming in every day, so we're not scared of the mailbox. 
That's what motivated me very early on. I didn't want to go to the mailbox and open the mailbox up, pull out a stack of bills, and the fear of God, you know, enters your soul because there's one in there that you can't pay. An invoice for the IRS or state income tax board, whatever it is. So here are the facts. You should be getting residual income, but not all do. It greatly depends on who you signed up with. So it's very important to ask a recruiter, tell me about vesting. That's the key word. Tell me about my residuals. Do I vest with your company? And when am I vested? You want to be vested from day one. Be sure to stick to the end and get my top 10 questions to ask every recruiter that tries to recruit you and wait for the silence in their answers. <laughs> You'll be able to flush out the people very quickly that don't have a duplicatable system for you to learn from because they ain't never sold any insurance. They heck, Listen, many of them aren't even licensed yet. They're not trying to hire you so they can help you. They're trying to recruit you to get a promotion for themselves. That's the way it is. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Some will, some won't. So what? Next. That's the vocabulary that they've been trained to learn. Not what we do around here. You want to find a coach or a mentor, right? So how do you know if you're getting residuals on your efforts or not? You got to ask the right questions. Like I said, are my commissions vested? And if so, when? You want day one. So let's talk about what vesting is, okay? Vesting of an insurance agent's rights to renewal commissions in an insurance industry terminology means that provide the policy is renewed and the renewable premiums are paid, the insurance company will pay the agent renewal commissions on the policy. That's what vesting is. So now here's the way it works. The more policy you sell, the greater residual income becomes. Look, no policy remains in effect forever. It's true agents will earn more money the better they are at keeping the policies in place, the ones that they already have that are existing. That's true. But the residual income is the primary reason why those that are in the industry stay in the industry. So what is residual income, which is the purpose of this video, and why would I want to earn residual income? So let's take a look at some basic understanding of what is called linear income, which most of you have, or at least have had at one time, which is job income and what residual income will give you. Linear income is also known as work income, meaning you receive a paycheck based on how much work you do. Linear income is usually earned by working a given number of hours at a set hourly rate. For example, if you work 25 hours, you'd receive compensation for 25 hours of work. If you worked no hours because you were sick, you had kids that were sick, you had family members that needed your help, and you could not go to work that day, you're going to get exactly what you put in. Zero. <laughs> that's the problem with linear income. So that's the definition of what linear income is, so we're all on the same page here. Now, let's take a look at the comparisons between linear income and residual income, and I think you'll make a clear choice to pursue the residual way to live your best life, and then we're going to get into some numbers. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Linear income versus res residual income. On the left side is linear. On the right side is residual. Continuously work for pay is linear income. Again, going back there, trading dollars for hours. Not enough time to enjoy income, right? Financially dependent on a job, the J-O-B. Work stops, income stops. Let's take a look at comparing that with residual income. You do something once, like sell a life insurance policy, and continuously get paid, or even build an agency. You build an agency that creates passive income. You hire that agent once, you train and support them, provide them the needs necessary to succeed, and then training required, right? And largely, you know, once they are trained the first one or two years, they're there for a lifetime, and you continuously get paid off those efforts by the insurance company, not off their backs. Time freedom is yours to enjoy. And then you also attain, through residual income, true financial independence. Why? Because here's the thing. You're building something up over time. I'm going to show you a chart that proves that. With a job, it's a one-off deal. Put in a 40-hour week, you get 40 hours of pay. Basically, a slave to that business owner selling the amount of hours that you have for the week to him for agreed-on wage. Right? Whereas, whereas residual, you're building something so over time it scales and you can scale your income beyond the amount of hours you have in the course of a day. With residual income, 
income continues to be created. So again, which of these would you choose? Now, let's take a look at another graph centered around a book that I think you should all read. If you haven't read this book yet, it's really a great book to kind of get you, to kind of move you from maybe an employee mindset to more of a business mindset. Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I read this years ago. He's got a series book out, but this is the most important one to really kind of change your thinking on moving from working the job to moving more to a, a self-employed or a residual passive income investor type individual and owning your life. So let's take a look at a graph that's from one of his books. And here it is. On the top left corner there, you have income from a job. You have a job, time equals money, with no leverage. On the one on the top right there, you're talking about a business owner. You own a system whereby people work for you. People equals money, and you have a little bit of leverage. On the lower right one is self-employed. Now, many people get caught up in the self-employed one thinking that that's a good deal, and it can be, but you're trading time for money, right? Starting over every day at zero. Self-employed be like, I mean, it's kind of like commission-only sales or like when it comes to car sales. Even though we're commission-only, the residual kind of changes it and moves it over to that far lower right column, which means your money's working for you. Income not dependent on your presence. Initially, for the first couple of years, it might be, but if you're building a residual and a passive income, now you're in that lower right column, which is where you want to be. I recommend you go read that book. And if that's not clear enough, let's take one more look because this stuff is hugely important for you to get and understand and begin to change your mindset. If you've had a job all your life, some of this stuff is foreign to you because failure to do so is life-changing and not in a good way. Here are some revealing numbers. More than 90% of individuals all over the world are accustomed to the income called linear income, trading time for money. For that reason, this is important, for that reason they are not and never will be financially independent. Linear income, also known as work income, as we talked about before, suggests you receive a paycheck based upon just how much work you have done. You have to put in a certain variety of hours weekly. And when you stop working, your income or your earnings stop. Linear income requires you to continue to work 40 hours a week for 40 years to retire on a retirement income that's decreasing as you get older. And the desire is, I need to die before my retirement income bottoms out to zero. What a life to live trying to die before your income runs out. And that's the path to Social Security. Watch my video right up here on the job scam. Residual income is different. It's the most powerful and successful income. Residual earnings is the earnings of the rich. Very simply, it gives income that keeps coming from work you've already done. Meaning even when you're not working, reoccurring income is not about get rich fast. It requires effort. It requires determination and time for the magic to begin working. So I know many of you are asking me this and it's not a clear answer because it varies on our products and the type of products. But how much residual income can we earn? So I did this quick chart for you, okay? On average, one to three percent for term, right? Now, mortgage protection is going to be primarily term insurance, whereas final expense is going to be lower face amount, right? But it'll be whole life. And the clue there is, with term insurance, it terms out. So, generally speaking, they want to buy a term policy for about the length of the mortgage, whereas final expense, they want to buy a policy to do what? To last their whole life. So that's going to be three to five percent. But here's the thing, and I know you guys are always saying, "Well, that's a lot. Yeah, that's not very much money." Okay, it isn't very much money. But again, we're building something over a lifetime or a career, three, four, five, ten years, whatever it is. Five policies per week, I consider part-time or 20 a month, right? So the average APV nationwide has and will be forever roughly about $1,080 or 85 bucks a month, right? So let's talk about compounding with time. So this, is a, this doesn't look like much. Now, I've already factored in a good persistency factor. Persistency meaning how long does this stuff stay in the books? We run about 10 to 12%, which is great. So I've factored that in here. So you, if you take 20 a month, that's about 240. I'm only showing 180. Let's just say you keep 180. Well, in five years, you got 900. In 10 years, you got 1,800 policies rolling over at that 1 to 5%. And again, it varies depending on what you've sold and how much the APV is. 
Those are low numbers, but you can see over time it begins to build. So at some point you got a five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar a month residual income coming in, right? You know, some of you may say, well, that's a low number. Why would I care? Simple. Unless you're planning on this to be a very short-term career or never selling more than five or ten policies and then retiring. It all adds up. Hey, listen, business is booming. Just this week, we've had more five and $10,000 per week income earners than we've ever had before. This week, five to 10,000. They earned that in one, one week of running appointments. So if you're a success oriented, if you can follow a duplicatable system or a coachable, willing to do the work and have a real need to succeed and capture an opportunity that time has come. Look, as I've said before, you heard me on this channel, there's an old saying that tea and timing is more important than tea and talent. Well, right now is the time that you want to get involved in this industry and be involved with us and be involved as a full service agent. If that's you, I want to talk to you and personally consider mentoring and coaching you case by case, step by step, paint by the numbers on the phone, you and I each and every day to teach you to become a top selling full service financial services professional. Selling, not just one product. I don't know why people do that to themselves. It's crazy. I talked to a lot of people who say, oh, I only want to sell final expense, or I only want to sell med subs, or I only want to sell. Why? Look, if you're going to buy and work leads, why not go sell them what they ask for and create a relationship and develop that client relationship for life? You can start and go into that home on mortgage section or final expense. If you're working leads, that's what they ask for. Then go sell them that. But then after that, you can develop that client relationship. You've already built that like, know, and trust with them. If you've done a good job and you've been ethical, you're competitive, good customer service, then go back and sell them senior health products, dental, health, vision, final expense, or mortgage section, whichever one you didn't sell first, right? Annuities, long-term care, pre-need. Look, the market is changing. And if you're only selling one product, you're fixing to get killed. We are leading the way to being able to offer every product in the financial service area to our clients, one-stop shop with our agents. One agent, anything you want. That's the future. Look, think about it for a second. If you were doing some repairs on your home and you wanted a simple, just one item, like for example, you know, I don't know what it is, right? But you, you could probably get away with the, with the Ace Hardware, okay? That little small neighborhood store in the corner. But most people want a great selection of all their products for home improvement in one area. You go to Lowe's or Home Depot, right? Yeah. Yes, right, of course. So the new normal in this industry will be clients that want a full service agent that has a selection of products and is a broker for them all. So they can pick the best products at the best price from one agent. Look, no one wants a bunch of agents to deal with when they prefer to deal with one person that they like, know, and trust. Most of us want to limit the amount of people we have to talk to and do business with. We'd like to have one person that we trust handle everything for us, right? And we have, that way we don't have to keep second guesses to whether or not that person's ripping us off or doing a good job because we like them, we trust them, and we feel like we know them, right? So if that's you and you have those kind of desires and you understand that, Give me a call. My contact information is in the description below. We may not be a fit, but I guarantee you, as the last thousand people I've talked to, I can help you make it the right selection for you based on what you're looking for out of life or out of your career, right? But make sure you get a copy of my top 10 questions to ask that recruiter to flush out the BS document. That's the best time I can come up with. That's it for the week. Hey, listen, don't forget to like the video. If you got some value out of it today, be sure to, to leave a comment. And you know, I do respond to all comments. Hit the bell, uh, mash it down here, mash the subscribe button, and don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hey, number three is how to build our next level of income, which is passive. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye-bye.